Hello, and welcome to another episode of Sky Factory 3 One Chunk Challenge with me and Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello. Hello. So we left off last uh, episode with me flailing about with potions. Bob noticed that what I needed was advanced item filters rather than basic ones. So hopefully we can now make things happen properly. I need a water bottle. And then I should be able to tell this thing that it can insert water bottles. Uh, somewhere in here ought to be an awkward potion or three, which I thought I had and do. Those are going to be insertable into here along with mm, spider eyes. So spider eyes and awkward potions go in there. So if I now put my three awkward potions in, they should brew. And if I put my water bottle in there, ooh, they get extracted into here as well. That's no good. This is a white list that should be taking fermented spider eyes and not water bottles. That's really annoying. I'm going to have to filter the extracts as well. Uh, advanced item filters. One more of these. How long do these take to craft? Not very. Good. Potion of poison. That's an awkward potion. So you should only be able to extract awkward potion. So those are water bottles. That's an awkward potion that can go over the side. These all contain water bottles because they don't have what they're meant to insert. Oh, maybe the one at the back needs to be set to only insert uh, blaze as well. That can be a simple filter though. So I need one, two, three, four, five simple filters and some blaze dust. So if I say you can insert blaze and you can insert blaze. Guys, I feel like Oprah, and you can have Blaze, <laughs> and you can have Blaze. I've used all the gold again. Despite all the vast quantity of gold that I created? Yeah, ex even with that, I've used all of it. Good lord, man. I decided our armour wasn't quite OP enough, so I'm upgrading everything to Wyvern level. Because it'll be amazing. I see. By the way, I'm going to need your armour. <laughs> um, and second. your boots and your motorcycle you're going to be glowstone you're going to be gunpowder so that should um, oh you're set to extract you need to be set to insert fermented spider eye that makes more sense and you should be set to insert glowstone. And you need to insert gunpowder. There we go, right. So those are now working. Eey, what a load of effort. Um, so next stage, potion of poison is allowed to be inserted into the top of that and you can be always active extract um, when you have an empty whitelist I think it doesn't take any effect empty whitelist doesn't do anything 
Neither does empty blacklist, I think. Yeah, that's really annoying. Mm. Um, I'm just going to stick potato seeds in the whitelist for insert mode on that. Yeah. Because potion of poison, which was in there, needs to be extracted. Extract always active. And inserted. Matching metadata and MBT into the top of that one. Oh, maybe it doesn't get inserted into the top. Uh, water bottle. Water bottle. Oh, rude word. Boo hiss, swearing, etc. Correct. <sighs> right, so let's swap these types of filters around, shall we? <laughs> I need basic on the top. And advanced on the back. Because that's obviously how it goes. All right. Um, Gunpowder can go into the top. Stone can go into the top. The minted spider eyes can go into the top. I know how Minecraft side in this works. Yay. It's that makes one of us. It's a skill I have. Right. Now let's put the filters on the back. Instead of gunpowder, you can put um, oh, not blaze powder. Yeah, blaze powder can go in the back. Um, you can have blaze powder. Back to Oprah mode again. <laughs> and you can have blaze powder. And you can have blaze powder. And you can have blaze powder and water bottles. Right. So let's re enable that. You've got water bottles coming in, nether wart in the top. And when you're done, you're going to create awkward potion. which I'm going to pop one out and you can insert awkward potion but you're never active which hopefully means that you can create wherever you are which is probably potion of poison And Potion of Poison gets to go in there. Which then brews up. This is all terribly good fun. Uh, 
I apologise for that noise, everyone. That was a terrifying noise. Potion of Harming can then go... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I am not very good at this game. Uh, insert mode with that and Potion of Harming. Allows this to happen, and then you should be allowed to extract what's stuck in there. Potion of poison. Oh, maybe I'm out of water bottles. I don't know. This is starting to get very complicated. And then you've made Potion of Harming Instant Damage 2, which needs to be able to go in here. Run out of water bottles. Okay, that's good. And then finally, whatever the fancy pants output from this is, which is Splash Potion of Instant Harming 2, is allowed to be inserted into there. Always active. So the only thing that's left to do is if I put a crafting card in here it should be able to do exactly what we need it to do which is keep the entire potion building system flowing And then the final process is that we take water bottles off there and we make a crafter. And the crafter is going to go on here like that is going to need a cable like that and is going to do pattern encoding downstairs of the form water bottle becomes splash potion of instant damage and can we yeah so we can say three becomes three. The famous Ooh. Spice Girls song. Yeah, actually I don't like that. Let's say nine. We've got five, one, two, three, four, five. So let's actually say that 15 becomes 15. That's, that's almost useful. Then I need the chest that we talked about. I can fit 15 in here. I'm going to move the, sorry, rotate the crafter. So it's facing up, pop that down, set the north side to it, always extract. Give that a pattern, and now let's try it. Splash potion of instant damage. Start. So that should craft up the water bottles. Let me 
slurp on some carrot juice. And we've got all the water bottles in there, all the ingredients for crafting in here. And as soon as that crafting process completes, it should pass along one and along and along and along until it finally gets imported. Nice. So that's going to create our splash potions of instant harming. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. I like instantly harming things. I thought you might. I got annoyed at fusion crafting, so I've automated it. Good. That's exactly what we like to hear. Yep. Is yeah, wood to iron. Um iron to gold. Gold to diamond. Let's apply those to this. Boop. 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 Now we can afford to have more crafted at once. Excellent, so that's working. So the next stage is to go up to our system up here. Put the splash potion into our uh, interface since we're allowed to craft those um, do you want your armor upgrading I'm ready Wahaha. um yeah give me a sec I just want to teach it to insert the splash potions into the potion generator I need a filter. I oh, know it should automatically because it's the only thing that can go in. Woohoo! That appears to be working. So we can now keep that alive. Um, I'm going to come and bring you my armor. Where are you? Near the fusion crafting section. Hello. Look at it. It's disgusting. Isn't it brilliant? Yeah, that's pretty horrid. So the stuff at the top chucks it all in, just leave it in there. I'm, I've loaded in 24 of the things for upgrading, and I'm just going to ch change the key after it finishes running through, and the redstone clock activates it. Okay, well, I've put all of mine in the top. Cool. I'll leave you to it. See you in a bit. Um, I reckon we have automated potion generation. Yay. So we're relatively close to being able to activate our um, rainbow generator. Yeah. We just need, I don't know, maybe 16 energy trash cans. Well, I suppose we can absorb it, can't we? So let's get some conduit. Ender energy. 16 conduit. flux plugs. What do you want? No, flux, who knows what state it's in. Let's mm. use Ender IO. Yeah. So we have a survival generator which generates 5 RF a tick. I'm going to set the maximum output of its buffer to 1. We have a helitosis generator that generates 40 RF a tick. I'm going to set its output to 1 for now so that that charges up. Um, I'm just putting the conduits on top at the moment so I can see what gets generated. Yeah. The power buffer UI doesn't appear to have updated for me. It's still showing it as 2480. Output. Both of them. Max in and max out. Hmm. It says one for me. Could you try relogging and see if it's just a sync issue? Yep. That would be really annoying because I was relying on these power buffers. Hmm. Uh, 
Hello. Oh, there you are. Right. How do theoretically, I'm yeah. hang on. It's loading. It's loading. It's chugging. Still twenty four eighty. Hmm. I suppose we'll see what we do. What they do when we activate them. It doesn't matter if the UI looks wrong from my side if it works. True. Well, I mean, if I stick another Ender Energy conduit on top there. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Let me just split those like that. If I stick another one on top there, yeah, that drained out instantly yeah. where it shouldn't have been able to. Do you want me to try setting it from my side and see if that does it? Yeah. Uh, which one are we doing? Is this back corner here, isn't it? Yeah. Set them Maximum both. Maximum output. Yeah. Set them both to one. One. Minus one. One. So if I now pop, so that survivalist generator hasn't finished refilling its buffer yet, which is annoying. Mm. Um, but if I put a a power thingy there, then. Yeah, it's the halitosis generator's building up far too far too much as well. I don't think that's working. No. no. Pop oh, hang on. Those off. We what? definitely configured these to disable the middle. Yeah, we have. Yeah, that was the first yeah. thing we did. Are these generators pushing to surrounding blocks? Yeah, they do. Right. Which is why I very carefully didn't put the energy conduit on top of the generator. Yeah. What if instead of using the power buffers themselves, we use capacitor banks? Because we can set the input and output of them. Yeah. Um, we'd have to use different kinds of capacitor banks, though. Yeah, good point. Uh, if we just put them, say, one here, one here, one here, one here. Um, we just put them at the right-hand side of each one. Yeah. Or even underneath where the current block is. We actually, take out these factory blocks and we stick a thingy under there. Instead. Actually, that could be better, yeah. Yeah. Um, clear out that um, then. Let's create what we need then. Basic capacitor times 60. Yeah, 16. 16, sorry, yeah. Um, that means 64 basic capacitors. We'll see how the armor's getting along. Eek. We're yeah, um, surprisingly low on redstone. Yeah. Let's make a hop pile more. And now we're low on iron. You know, several people have mentioned to me that they kind of got fed up with Sky Factory when they left it on for ages and it had magic mm. magically had all the power they needed. Yeah, you just have infinite everything forever. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite often the problem with majority of Minecraft for me. I'm just going to take the power buffers away as well because there's no point in them. Yeah. Put them away. So basic capacitors are going underneath each generator. Which should activate each generator in turn. Yeah. Oopsie, missed there. Mm -hmm. Some of these generators are noisy. I'd forgotten that. So yeah, setting the input does work now on these. Oh great, I'm withered. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. And you've not got your armor, so you might die. <laughs> Try 
Drank a bucket of milk. Good decision. That's what I thought. Mm. So... The Nether Star one should have finished refilling by now. It has. Uh, the Halitosis one appears to have finished. What's really annoying is we just had all the generators running and I don't remember seeing the rainbow. Uh, this one isn't running. No, Nether Star, Overclocked and Potion aren't running anymore. Mm. Why Potion's so not running, I'm not sure. Oh, because we need to extract the glass bottles. Ah, yes. Let me set that up. Uh, filter, 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 filter. Mm -hmm. We're putting an energy trash can under each of these, where the other factory block is now. We're going to have them output straight into that. Yep. Another star generator and the overclock generator and the potion generator are the only ones that aren't on. Um Potion should now be functioning again. There you go. So the overclocked isn't on because it finished. Yeah. Um, Nether Star's now on. Oh, thanks for that. So, oh, yeah, we're going to die horribly, aren't we? <sighs> milk. I need milk. I don't know where I am and I need milk. There we go. I'm dying. What output rate did you set the Nether Star one to? Uh, I didn't. It's probably outputting at a thousand. That's suboptimal. Yeah. Change it down to one. Right, the nether star generator is turned off. I think you have to set it to the um, output um, RF per tick of the I don't. I don't think it needs to be quite that many. It needs to be enough that every time it checks, it has reason to run. Yeah. But it's just nether star and overclocked at the moment. So if you put a trash can underneath overclocked... And then I'll make a bunch of them. And then I set the Nether Star one to back to a thousand. Rainbow! 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 Rainbow gone away. Um Potion is off. I'm withered. I'm withered. I'm gonna die. <laughs> um yeah, what? actually going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why potion is off. Wow. Oh, potion's off because it had finished filling up. My FPS does not like that rainbow generator running. No? Wow. This has gone very... It's doing the same level as lag as when I put down a um, Chan Psychosahedron. I'm guessing it's the same effect. Oh, no. Mm. So, um, I reckon the right answer is that we let these things run. Yeah. And possibly wear some draconic armour. Yeah. Before going anywhere near them again. Probably a good idea. Shield capacity. Oh, no. What? The other upgrade key is in my uh, grave. Well, put a piece of draconic armour on. Ah, uh, good point. To protect yourself. Yeah. Which I just did on half a heart. <laughs> I should 
go um, grab a magnet, shouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, that'll do. Actually, additions one. Um, and also some way of flying. I can lend wings. you. We might have a wing. If not, then I've got a spare one in my. Oh, well, I've got mine in my inventory. You can borrow. Ah, uh, yeah. I might just borrow that off you. Um. There you go. Thank you. I'll I'll have that lot back, please. Um, mm. Amazingly enough, that is the end of an episode. <laughs> we very briefly had the rainbow generator running, but I don't count that for uh, for our achievement. No, it has so to be consistently running for you know yeah. a while, doesn't it? Really. So I think that'll be next week. Yep. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. <laughs>